right, so we got the bales all picked up, moved ahead a little bit, and uh, got sold off. What we're doing now is mulching. I haven't mulched on in a while, so the size of the stock here. I was like, well, let me mulch just down. This is a good mulcher. I like this one, too. It goes good, good, good rate of speed, which is cool. But alternating between these here, it's a little easier to go with, but yeah. And I'm using a track door for contracts. But as you can see here, got the majority mulched up. I assume I have a couple spots, but we'll get this all mulched. mulched and then uh, we'll have, we'll get some seeds in. I'm looking at it. I think we're going to do, depending on what to do with this, if we let it sit or put something in here. I don't necessarily need wheat or barley, but if we do that again, then we have to wait another season to be able to do anything. With the calendar here, I could put stone in, pop through there, and then we could harvest that in July. Or I could just wait and put cotton in February and just make a nice big bunch of uh, furniture at that point. Uh, the only drawback with that is we have to wait another season to get any kind of. Uh, Crop up. Well, I mean, let's take a look at that again. So if we do cotton, for, for just for instance, if we wait until February, that's what I was thinking about is just looking through these. Let's throw in cotton. Cotton will be harvested in October. Then we could throw in some wheat or barley. Even if we throw barley, I mean, ideally it'd be nice to just put in the whole... If we're going to do cotton, just keep with it, you know, make enough for, or, uh, clothing to just Enjoy crazy moments of awesomeness because we're making a lot of clothes. Muna, bula, bula, bula. <laughs> but also we can do canola. I do not see an oil mill on here, so that's not something we can work with. But I mean, we could always put one on there if we really wanted to. But the canola, we just grab and sell. And uh, as we were talking about, let me take a look at this again. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask. Multi, multitask. Instead of multi-pass, it's multi-task. <laughs> so if I put canola in now, and we can harvest it in July. What the heck just happened there? I was like, I didn't hit that button. What's going on here? Yeah. I may have accidentally hit it. Now I think about it. <laughs> but I mean, uh... Yeah, we don't have much. But again, if I do the cotton, it's probably almost the best bet. We'll get the cotton off there in October. Then we can just hurry up and replant it real quick. Just a thought. So we can actually get two cycles out of that one at that point. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah. Let's go to that little spot over there and see if that's actually got a spot. If it really is a problem or not. But fields mulched. Just gotta throw some seeds in here. Gotta figure out what. So like I said, we can do a couple things here. I could do canola or wait a month and do. I don't know. I don't know, man. Where's that little spot at? Okay, it's right in front of me. I see that says a rob. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, I'm splat. <laughs> and it's gone. Doink. <laughs> Yay for us. Alright, so I can return that. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of here. Grass is ready to harvest or mow again, but of course we'll wait until next month because how that works out. But uh, we do have some contracts for. I mean, we're 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 up. We're ready to rock and roll. But as you can see, the grass is it's ready, but it's not the high level. So we'll wait one more month there. And these here, uh, size bell, 67 percent. So those coming up. Got more sheep in there. 82 of them now. So that's nice. 82 out of 150. They're pumping away like cray cray. 
and the chickens, same thing, they're getting a lot of eggs. So this is nice, we got some some gold mines here. We only have 10 more to go. I think I'm gonna do is once I get these uh, organized here, is, uh, so we got sheep are kind of spread out. Chickens, same thing. I think once they do the next one, I'll just sell all these off and then put one, so just one line of, you know, what about 250 in there? Yeah, 250. Let's make it easier because that's such a mess to follow through. But either way, we'll get it. We'll get it taken care of, but everything's moving along. Right. Oh. All right. So, first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at this contract. So these contracts here, see, one fertilizer, one liming. That's why I grabbed that one, $18,000. Some good harvest ones, too, but. See, if I do something like that, I can just get the wheat and then whatever's left over, hold on to it so we can keep it for the chickens. That way we're not losing any. But I don't need it right now. I mean, we're, we're good. So I think I'll do that. Now I'm thinking about it more and more. I think we'll go ahead and wait until February. I'll throw some cotton in here. Get one harvest of cotton at least out of that and see where we want to go from that point. So I'm going to go ahead and knock these contracts out. So, uh... Where we're looking at here. Let's take a look at the map. See where we're headed. The 203 is down there. And 47 is right by us. Okay. So I think I'll do 203 first since it's further away or work way back. So, so we're going to just knock out. Yeah, that's the bigger one. I think that's the liming one. I'm pretty sure. Cause <laughs> so we'll get these contracts knocked out and then. Uh, yeah, probably go until next month there, and we'll go ahead and get this grass mowed. Fields ready over there. I think I think we'll go ahead and I think we answer our question. We'll throw some cotton in here. Once we're done with the cotton, we could figure out what else. Like I said, we could put barley in right away. So we'll do a cart one good harvest of cotton there. Get that baby taken care of. Harvest it. Throw barley in right away, and then we can harvest that again in June. Uh, sorry, it's alive because it'll be in the second phase there. So we need to do that. Eh, we'll, we'll get it figured out. So let's get cotton. Boom, we're good. We're going to put cotton in here. It's going to be a cotton picking yard. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take care of this. And then we're going to get these contracts knocked down. And uh, move on to the next day. We'll get the grass going. So we'll see you all in a little bit. Clipping the grass again. Getting this all taken care of. Got a couple things done today, or this month here, too. So that's good. It's good, good, good. <laughs> oh. Okay, Bethy. So we got the uh, contracts completed, so that's good. So we got a little over, well, I guess we're right about 150000 but yeah. Had to lease some stuff, too, so. We got the leasing done, so eggs are moving big time. Um, I did swap out the chickens. So, I did get them to just one each because they did go to. There's nothing there right now, I know, because they just changed over, but still, they're the little babies. But hey, now they're just one instead of like 12 freaking lions. <laughs> so, there's that. Uh, same thing with the sheep. Uh, they're keep multiplying. But it's one of those things, I'm like, I don't know if I want to mess the sheep until I get. I'll wait until it's full or close to the animal pens full because I don't want to take away the production rate. So I take them away and then go back to the first. They're not going to produce right away. Chicken at least move along pretty quick. Sheep aren't terrible, but chickens definitely go pretty quack, pretty quack, pretty quick. Wow, quack. <laughs> well, and, uh, top price for eggs is actually what November, I think. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, November. So. Two months. We'll get this all mowed and picked up. Once you're done with that, I think we'll go ahead and grab some more. Um, take some more of the uh, wool over to the other factory. And I'll go from there. But Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and return that. Moa. There we go. We're using the company vehicle. Which my nice if I got. <laughs> I don't know, I just, every time I drive this thing, I'm like, whoa, uh, memory. It's late, it's memory late, baby. So let's go ahead and, uh, 
get this grass picked up. We'll take care of that. And like I said, we'll go ahead a couple months. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, the eggs sold. Get that done soon. So that'll be nice. Have eggs sold. Uh, we'll get some more wool moved around. And start getting some clothing done. Clothing is going to be... We're going to be selling that pretty soon, too. I think uh, first part of the year. So we're going to hold off. Do a little bit more clothing. Since we're not in terrible position right now. we got everything paid up. We're up to date on that. Um, clothing. Let's double check that real quick. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so March, April time. So we're 6,000 right now, so it's going to be almost 10,000. So yeah, we definitely want to wait for that. We're in September now, so I mean, uh, oops. yeah, September. So basically when we're getting ready to plant some uh, cotton, that'll be the time, mate. Eh? That'll be the time to get it done, son. <laughs> it's pretty excited about that. Um, we got plenty of grass for the sheep for the winter time. We still have plenty of... Uh, um, I think wheat. I think it was wheat, wasn't it? Was it wheat that we had? Let's take a look. Yeah, wheat. So 18,000 liters of wheat, too, so we could feed the chickens with them there. Uh, since the animal pens are so high, and they're now young again because I swapped them out, uh, yeah, they're not going to eat that much. <laughs> They'll be fine to get through winter time, and then, of course... We should be able to get to the next season since we have enough volume on there. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. So that's good. That's good. Good. <laughs> I know it's probably not. This is not the most ideal vehicle to be using to, to haul this loading wagon. But you know what? It works. That's what matters. <laughs> so we're doing that. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this all finished up, get it all knocked out, and then uh, go from that point. But uh, we'll go forward a couple months to get the eggs options, and we'll go ahead and sell the eggs off. So one less thing we'll have to worry about, uh, keeping the egg pens cleared, or the chicken pens cleared with eggs. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> but yes, we're pretty stoked here. Going to make some omelets. Woohoo! Chickens love that. Like, here, let's, eat, let's feed you some omelets. They'll be like, what? <laughs> move dear move dear move dear <laughs> but uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and take care of this we'll get this all squared away um like I said we'll go ahead in a couple of months get the eggs sold and then uh go from that point just got a few more months to get through we'll get some uh get those clothes paid off or sold off there and then uh that cotton will be be able to plant some cotton. Some cotton picking, harvesting. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and finish this all up, get it dumped into the silo next to us here, and we'll have plenty of grass for the winter time. And go for that point. So we will see you all in about a month or two. We'll see you all when we get ready to sell some eggs. How's that? <laughs>